Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. So in this video here, I'm going to start working on the Kramer, getting the body set up to accept the electronics. So I have some holes to be drilling. I need to cut it a five-way switch slot, and that's what I'm doing right now.
right, so all good things must come to an end. And this is going to be the ending of this video. Now I have a lot of polishing to do because I've been touching and manhandling this thing like crazy, putting the electronics in, getting the pickups installed. The bridge is all set up. Everything is good with that. The only one thing that I kind of noticed with the bridge here is that uh, it's kind of weird. So I have a somewhere here. All right, so this is the Floyd Rose Special, all right? And if I put that in place over here and set it down, everything everything lines up around the edges and stuff. The only thing is, is it's not cut back here to fit the, uh, the screws, all right? But everything fits around the edges perfect the way it's supposed to be. That's the Floyd Rose Special. Now, this is the actual Floyd Rose and if I put it in place and I put a little bit of tension on it so it's pulling itself into the saddles for the uh, mounts, uh, there's more space here than there is on the side over here. But the reason why I had these the green wire and the white wire was to run them down the neck, put them inside the locking nut, lock them down, and I could see exactly where the strings are on each side of the neck using just you know thin wires, about the thickness of probably the low E string. And I could also check to see where I'm lining up on each side for the pickups here. Now, this pickup ring here is kind of like nasty and shit, so I'm thinking I might end up replacing the pickup ring. I'm not too sure yet. But everything else here is pretty much pretty much good. And besides my grubby fingerprints all over it. So that's what I was doing with the Floyd Rose. Now, question here that I have for Wally is, all right, so as you can see, there's a white switch, a white uh, cap on the uh, five-way switch. I don't have any white knobs, so I don't know if he wants to go with, say, oh, I have to get the other knobs. These ones are too, are too small. If he wants to go with the black knobs and a white five-way switch, or if he wants to go with all black including the five-way switch so let me know and uh, let's see if I could zoom this thing out get the whole guitar in the screen somehow well, that's as far as it goes huh well this is the whole guitar and like I said she's coming along pretty good now I gotta make the clear covers on the back I was looking in the uh, control cavity. It almost looks like the engine compartment of a vehicle. You know, brand new, brand new car. So that's it. I got the foam rubber. It's a one millimeter thick foam rubber padding that is on the bottom over here. I didn't want to go with the, I think I got like a one eighth, which is a, uh, three times the thickness or something like that, what this is. It's pretty thick. I'm not sure of the, the actual size, but I didn't want to go that route, so I waited for the other one to show up. This one feels kind of like what the original would have been. And, uh, yeah, so getting her done. Um, all I have to do is put the claw on. I don't have another claw that is for this tremolo. And sometimes you can get away with using a different claw if the holes and everything line up. I don't want to have to drill new holes into the body. Uh, I don't mind putting new screws into the body, but I don't want to have to drill more holes. So I want to figure out what these guys are going to be. If you want to have black and all black here, or if you want to have the white and in the black, it's up to you. Let me know. Take care. Thanks for watching. Be cool.